Hey, this is Teddy, your LinkedIn sales navigator guy. And someone messaged me a little while ago. It says, Teddy, I don't want people to message me in any way on LinkedIn. What's the best way to shut that down? And I'm going to show you what your options are in this video. But before I do, hit that subscribe and notify button because I create all this content for you. So lots of different ways to get message or contact in LinkedIn. So let's talk about a few of them. First of all, if your uh, contact information has got your email address and phone number, you may want to fix that if you don't want people message you. Number one, you can delete your phone number from this contact information. Just hit the pencil right here and just delete the phone number and it goes away. Now you're going to want to leave your phone number on the account through private uh, through your account settings, but you delete it from this box and nobody's going to ever see it. It's the only way you can hide your phone number from your first level connections is delete it from here. Number two is you know your your email address. Now you got a couple choices here on your email address. You could, uh, if you want to, switch it to be a uh, you know a, a non you know an email address you don't pay attention to a lot. Or what you could do is this, and that is to go to privacy and settings, and right here it is. Let me get the link. Who can see or download your email address? It's under visibility your profile network. It's who can see or download your email address. Now I have no one, which is a default for everybody, can download my email address. But I can change this right here and I can make my email address or my LinkedIn profile only visible to me and LinkedIn. Or, as I've got it, my first level connections or my first and second level connections or I let everyone see my email address, which I don't prefer to do. So if you want to hide it, you got to make it visible only to you. So no one's going to, at this point now, I've gotten you to the point where no one can see your phone number because you delete it. No one can see your email address because you hide it in your settings so it won't be seen in your contact information. The next one is who can send you invitations. Let's go look at that. It's going to be under settings again. It's going to be under communications. Who can reach you? Manage who you'd like to get in communications with. Well, invitations to connect. I can turn that off and say only people who appear in your imported contacts list or only people who know your email address or you imported them or everyone. I, by default, I would say only people who know your email address is what I would suggest. This is gonna. This would be turn off all invites. If you set it to who appear in your imported contacts and you didn't import anything, no one's going to be able to send you an invitation. Here's the next thing. In, uh, other invitations you can get. So who can uh, send you page invites to follow your company page? You can turn that off. Who can send you event invitations? You can turn that off. Who can send you subscribe to newsletters? You can turn that off. So you can turn all that off as well. So let's look at the next piece, which is messages. So in messages, you can enable message request notifications, and that is basically someone sent you a message and you're getting a request to open it up. The other one is allow others to send you in mails. Now you can turn that off so you won't get any in mails. You could say, I want to be an open profile. And so if your open profile is only accessible to those who are premium, and that gives the other LinkedIn member who may not be premium access to free in mails to you. So you could turn that off if you want. Now you can see I've already turned off partner in mails. I don't want partner in mails. But again, you shut down all this messaging as well so no one can send you in mails. The last option I have is to decide what kind of notifications do you want, what kind of messaging do you want from LinkedIn. Now I know for a fact right now on May 27th at 2 o'clock in the afternoon Eastern Standard Time, that if I click on that, it's broke, which tells me they're working on making changes. However, you could go in there and you could turn off all or any of the emails that LinkedIn may send you. Additionally, you could go in to push for pop-ups and you can make a decision to turn off all or any of those pop-up notifications. They may pop up on your screen or on your smartwatch, on your uh, uh, your smart uh, smartphone, et cetera, et cetera. These are of some, maybe not every single option that you have to disable the ability for people to message you on LinkedIn. Make a decision which ones are important to you to turn off, but also be aware of this. The more accessible you are, the more successful you could be in life. Sometimes it's pretty easy. Just hit the ignore button, hit the delete button, but leave yourself a little bit open for more opportunities. I'm Teddy, your LinkedIn and sales navigator, strategist, trainer, and coach. And I hope these ideas are useful for you.